close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way as it comes in, all the way as it goes out. Try to stay with the breath. You're developing good qualities here. This is what the word for meditation means in Bali. Bhavana means to develop. We're developing mindfulness. We're developing concentration. We're developing discernment into what's actually going on in our own minds. This is important. So we see what's going on in the mind, see how we're creating unnecessary suffering, and see how we can stop. This is an important point of part of developing merit. In America we don't talk about merit much, but it's an important part of the practice, developing good qualities, looking for happiness in ways that are totally harmless. We do this for ourselves, and we dedicate it to others, too. People have passed on, we dedicate merit to them. If they're in a position where they can receive that merit, they automatically get it. If they somehow know that you're doing this, their merit consists in the fact that they rejoice in what you're doing. Because this is what makes human life worthwhile, is the fact that we're trying to find a happiness that doesn't harm other people. Common animals, they don't care. They just look for their happiness and that's it. And there are a lot of human beings that are like common animals that way. They look for happiness that, without any concern for what the consequences are going to be. But when we come to see that true happiness has to be harmless, so that's when we start becoming genuine human beings. And so we want that happiness to be complete. We do it through generosity, we do it through the precepts, and we do it through meditation. It's when you're dedicating merit to someone who's passed away, as we are today. We want to make sure that that merit is complete. It's like giving a gift to someone. You don't want to have any parts missing. You want the gift to be complete. Otherwise, it's like giving somebody a, a camera but with no, no battery, with no card. You want the card in there. You want the battery in there. And that's how the camera works. In the same way with the merit that we're giving to other people, you want it to be complete. You want it to work. Generosity is one thing. Virtue is another. But it's meditation that goes straight to the heart, and it's through the currents of the heart that the dedication of merit actually gets completed. If the current of the heart is weak, then it doesn't go very far. So try to make your concentration strong. This is what strengthens the currents of the heart so they can go far and have a genuine cooling influence on the rest of the world. If you're wishing for happiness for others but you can't find happiness inside yourself, it's very dry. You want the coolness of water, which is nourishing. And that means you want the, the water of your heart to be be cool and refreshed. And so try to make that make it that way with the meditation. Cool the mind down. Calm the mind down. And that's the essence of what's really meritorious. So when you're dedicating merit, it comes from right here. It comes from the essence. It doesn't get, just come from the outside actions. Now that kind of merit really reaches the heart of the person to whom it's intended. And it reaches our own hearts as well. So everybody benefits. This is a special thing about this kind of happiness. It's not only harmless, but it's actually beneficial for everybody. When you're generous, you benefit. The people who receive your gift benefit. They gain a sense of, you gain a sense of your own inner worth. They gain a, gain a sense that they're worthy of gifts. At least somebody thinks they're worthy of gifts. That gives them a sense of, of pride. When you practice virtue, you benefit. The people around you benefit. When you meditate, the less greed, aversion, and delusion there is in the mind, the less it gets spread out around the world. So as you can bring the mind to more concentration, more mindfulness, more discernment, okay, the people around you have their burdens lightened as well. So we're looking for a happiness, a human happiness that's harmless and beneficial all around, a happiness that erases boundaries rather than creating them. So make that, sure that that happiness is complete. 